Welcome back to Lap of the World. I'm Richard and I come bearing good, if not also obvious news. And that is that fall finally fell on the southeastern United States a few weeks ago. The days began to get noticeably shorter, the humidity abated, leaves started to change colors, and a cold snap meant that most of the two-wheeled tourists, no offense to our capable locals, put their chaps in saddlebags in storage for the winter. This meant it was a great time for what has become really only a semi-annual trip up into the hills between Chilhowee, Tennessee and Robbinsville, North Carolina. The occasion for this particular pilgrimage was welcoming a new NSX owner and community contributor to the area. Liz and I started our day with a leisurely commute from Knoxville to Walland, Tennessee, and a pre-designated parking area on the Foothills Parkway. The third car of eventually eight to arrive, a mix of five first-generation and three second-generation NSXs, we hung around in the light morning drizzle, learning some new names and greeting some old friends, until it was time to decamp to the bottom of the parkway where we connected with two more parties for a total of 10 NSXs to join us for a casual drive of Tennessee and North Carolina's shared treasure. US Highway 129, more commonly known as the Tale of the Dragon. For those unfamiliar, in the 11 miles between Tabcat Bridge and the Crossroads of Time lie some 318 turns. This road is a mecca for motorists and motorcyclists and generally one of the more scenic, if not relaxing, drives this time of year. I'll go ahead and get this out of the way. This is not one of my track features. The Dragon, in spite of how some treat it, isn't a racetrack. So if you're expecting to see me chucking the NSX from Apex to Apex with Japanese Nightcore blaring in the background, you may be disappointed. This was a casual group of ladies and gentlemen out for a leisurely but entertaining drive through the mountains, followed by lunch at our new to the area friends shop. I digress though. After connecting with the folks coming from further south, we grouped up and headed towards the Tennessee, North Carolina border. Our trip through the gap started with a friendly but cautionary admonishment from the highway patrol, understandable given the damp conditions and the number of annual fatalities on this section of road we dutifully kept to a strict 30 miles per hour the entire way up and back. You can't see the speedometer in the video, but just trust us on this one. So after waving at the photographers from Killboy.com, US 129 Photos and US 129 Slayer, we arrived at the gas station slash motorcycle resort at the crossroads and stopped to stretch our legs a bit. We ended up chatting for a while with none other than Rob Ferretti, who arrived shortly after we did, leading an adventure drives group on their way across the southeast to an eventual destination in Nashville. Rob owns an NSX himself, but on this occasion was driving his nearly pristine Ferrari 360 Spider. The rest of the adventure drives group sported some pretty sexy machinery as well. Having grabbed some coffee and watched the ladies from the Tale of the Dragon shop across the street save an RV driving couple from their wayward GPS, stopping them and helping them turn around before they got stuck in a switchback. It was time to saddle back up and head back down the mountain for some lunch. Everyone had fun, there were no NSX additions to the Tree of Shame, so all in all it was a great day and some very pretty if somewhat moist fall weather. Now at this point I'll quit talking and let you just enjoy the scenery from the full return leg if you were so inclined. It's set to music because Liz and I were listening to all manner of dastardly copywritten music and I didn't have a mic inside the car. Until next time though, I'm Richard, this is Lap of the World, and I'll see you in the next video, if not at the track.